What's up guys and welcome to today's video. So that edit you just saw was created purely with AI and with the new Klingo one. Today we're going to break down how it was created. Like I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how I created all these scenes and how I generated this video just from creating some style frames with Nano Banana Pro. And over at Artlist they also have the new Kling 2.6 Pro which has integrated audio and it's really incredible how precise AI has come in such a short amount of time. If you want to learn more about Nano Banana Pro head over to Artlist's YouTube channel and check out my video where I guide you through how Nano Banana Pro works and how to control it, how to adjust the prompts, how to generate prompts, how to iterate. Now you can like make these adjustments with Nano Banana Pro. It's so easy to change the subject, add a different background, you can easily just tell Nano Banana Pro to change something and it's gonna do it, which is, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. And over at Artlist, they also have the new Sea Dream 4.5, which just has like photorealistic image precision and get so much control now with the prompts you can basically tell it any changes you want to make and it really understands like the prompts and that's also what's really incredible about Klingo 01 because you don't have to like give it overly complex prompts you can just tell it simple prompts like transition from the soccer player to the neon billboard sign and it's gonna understand exactly what you're trying to do and you don't have to use chat GPT to create these complex prompts even though I mean that workflow is also amazing but it's it's really incredible how much Klingo One understands what you're trying to do and you basically just tell it go from A to B in like any kind of way you want. Yeah, so for this edit I created, I really like to use the feature that Klingo One has where you can give it a start frame and an end frame. So let's say you have a sequence, you can basically take the last frame of that sequence, put it in the start frame of Klingo One and then you can take the first frame of the next shot and put that in the end frame in Klingo One and it's gonna do a transition between those two. And it's really awesome because you can just a little simple prompt like transition from the soccer player to the billboard sign or or transition from the car to a city shot and yeah i mean that's just incredible how well Klingo one works and how easy it is to create these awesome transitions and with the features that Klingo one has it just unlocks a new world of like possibilities because now you can create these really complex transitions by using the start frame and the end frame feature and let's say you had to do like these transitions in a real production you would need a set up where you like some of the shots you have a camera on the ground and then you transition to a drone shot and then you transition to a crane shot and you'd need to have like this really complex setup to make these shots actually work but now you can just do it with the AI and also the Kling 2.6 Pro now has integrated audio so over at Artlist you can just enable audio and it's going to generate some audio for your footage. I feel so real which is awesome because then you don't have to do the sound design or you can just use it as a reference for your sound design and it just makes the whole workflow a lot easier and now you have that possibility as well. So just want to talk about the edit and some of the things I find really impressive with the new AI features. As you can see in the edit, it now understands text rendering like really, really good. I mean, you can basically tell it to write anything and it's going to do it. Even if it's on a billboard sign or on a t-shirt, the AI models are going to understand the text rendering now. And this just makes the videos way more believable now that it has precise text rendering. So you have this woman on the train who's reading the newspaper. And as you can see, I added in a text on the headline of the newspaper where it says Klingo One is now on art list. And it's really awesome because now when you generate videos from these concept images that I created with Nano Banana Pro, it keeps the text 
rendering precise, which is something it, it hasn't always been that good at, but Klingo 1 really does a good job like keeping the text rendering precise. And also the man that comes up to the vending machine, you also have the text rendering on that. And you guys probably didn't notice this, but when we transition over to the shot of the soccer field in the city, I actually added my name into like a billboard sign on the text. So yeah, you can see my name is there in the background behind the soccer player. And it's just really crazy how well the AI understands and how well it keeps the text rendering even though the camera is moving around. And again, for a shot like this, I just told it to transition from the soccer player over to the neon billboard sign. You can see we have the text here on the ground, Kling 01, and it just, it understands the text rendering like so well. It's really incredible how precise it is. So some of the scenes from the train are my absolute favorite just because they, they seem so real. I mean, they're so photorealistic. It really looks like it's something out of a movie, which is just awesome. And again, the, the style frames were generated from Nano Banana Pro, and then I ran those through Kling 01 to generate the videos. So the camera movement here on the end shot is is one of my favorites. Again, I just gave it a start frame and an end frame and it did the transition for me and it just looks so cool and dynamic. So with Klingo 1 being so precise and so easy to understand even simple prompts, the hardest part of creating this edit was definitely like planning out the transitions when we needed to do like these seamless transitions. And also some of the scenes were doing like four or five transitions in like one continuous go. So that definitely required a bit of planning to have that work seamlessly. And in some cases I also had to to like do multiple tries to really get the AI to understand exactly how I was trying to do the transition. So it definitely required a bit of trial and error. And I also had to like test out different prompt ideas to get the transitions to work exactly like I wanted them to. And also for an edit like this to really take things up a level, I went over to our list where they have like this massive library of sound effects. And I just stacked on a ton of different sound effects like city noise, rain sounds, car sounds, all these sound effects. And I just added a ton of layers and adding sound to design to an edit like this just really makes everything so much more cinematic. So to make some of the transitions even better, over at Artlist they have like a whole library of templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. So they have like this transition pack that has like all these zoom in and zoom out and swipe left and swipe right transitions. And I also use some of those combined with the Klingo 01 AI just to make the transition even more dynamic and also to have like a bit more control over the transitions. But also to make the transitions like really impressive, what you can do is you can drag them over to Premiere Pro or something like Adobe After Effects and you can do these time remapping and speed ramps to like really make the transitions even better and just like more dynamic by doing some speed ramps and also with the features with the start frame and the end frame that Klingo 1 has you can control like the camera movement and where you want to go from A to B it just gives you so much more control over the AI and this is exactly where AI is going to shine because now you get like that precision and you get that control and you get that perfect text rendering that's like when you can really start creating some amazing content and amazing videos. Also have like that control you always wanted to have. And that's what I really love about Klingo 01 because you have that control and you can create those awesome transitions with ease. And like I said, if you want to create these complex transitions in a real world production, transitioning from a camera on the ground to a helicopter shot or to a drone shot just requires so much planning and it's such a complex process. So with the AI transitions with Klingo 01, you can just like re iterate and you can do different tests and you can type in different prompts and get different results until you like get the result you're going for and it just makes the whole process a lot less complex and a lot easier to dive in and create awesome transitions and also right now Artlist is actually hosting a massive holiday sale and you got to check that out you can find the link in the description down below anyways guys that's it for today's video i really hope you liked it leave a like drop a comment and head over to Artlist and start creating without limits